going? This is Zebu Clan here. I'm Zebu Bacon. You right. know me as Neon on the Airsoft videos. And I'm the Blue Ninja 69, but you all know me as Zebu Biscuit. And I'm Zebu Fletch. You might know me as Zebu Toast. And today we're talking about um, starting out in Airsoft and when you're brand new to the sport and what you should use and not use. So we'll get started. Um, let's get started with safety. Safety always comes first in airsoft when you want to get into the sport. Um, when it comes to protection, um, it's the one place you just don't want to cheap out. So we'll start with masks here. Masks are essential for eye protection. Um, so here, this is a full face mask right here. Yeah. Bacon's holding a full face mask here. Here. I have a combination of goggles and mesh. This is usually the a little more of the expensive use of safety, um, but it still works just fine. Okay. It gets rid of certain problems that you have with the full mask. It's also fog. very easy to see down the scope. Yes. It's not very easy, but easier. And then we got this helmet here. So this helmet is not totally necessary, but does provide protection to the top of the head. Um, believe me, you will get hit in the forehead many, many times, like coincidentally. And if you got this helmet on, it, it, you, you don't get hurt. And even if you happen to be running through the forest and trip over a root or something, and land on your head, it's all right, you got a helmet. And helmets are very good for mounting cameras on them. Um, so I think that's everything covered. Uh, when you're using a gun, or I should say when you're not using a gun, I'll use this gun as an example here. All guns have a safety on them. And when you're not using an airsoft gun, always have your safety off. Always have the mag out. And if you're really not ready, try to keep the battery up too. Um, this, this, the more precautions you take, the more safer it is. Um, so keep that in mind when you're not using your airsoft gun. Do everything you can so that nothing bad goes wrong. And uh, speaking of the gun, uh, we're going to move on to first gun choices. Right here we have a, looks like a Springer M4 right here. This was my old gun. Just basically a uh, pull back issue. It was, it's a nice gun if you're starting out. I wouldn't recommend it for anything more than a backyard battle. Yeah. Those kind of guns usually aren't too strong, um, so if you're in kind of closer quarters, it's safe to have them. Um, I guess that almost covers everything. We'll talk about this full auto gun. Maybe you can hold this up for me. Um, so this is the gun that um, Mach, or Panda as he prefers, the per, per, uh, as he prefers to um, be called, um, but on our team his name is Zebu Hash Browns. Um, this is the gun he uses. It's a uh, Umrex take on a HK416, and the difference between this one and um, Bacon's old one here is that it's electronically run by a battery, um, which means you can fire full auto, which is um, You'll notice it is much better than using a Springer gun that you have to reload on every shot. This is the battery right here, 7.2 volts. The downside to using battery run guns is that you'll end up needing to charge your battery and it all, the biggest factor is in the battery. Um, we'll move on to secondaries, I suppose. So having a backup is very important for when your gun's not working or if you're out of ammo, etc. This is the first gun. This is probably the weakest of the, the bunch. And then this one. That's the strongest over there. Yeah. So this is a, just a really cheap Springer. Probably came in a pack with a, one of the primary guns. And that's what usually happens when you buy a cheap gun. But this is one of the more uh, inexpensive versions. It still works, it's just not very good. Moving up, we got this. and. Uh, Biscuit will talk about that. Alright, so what makes this different to the other one is a couple of the internals and 
and to some extent the externals are just a much better quality. For example, up here, this slide, this black slide you see, is made out of metal, um, which means the gun itself will be more durable the more you use it, and it's much smoother to cock back each time. Um, and the gun itself, not too much different, but it's in part, uh, its internal parts um, have a little better uh, quality, um, so it's more consistent and more durable. Let's put that over. And then moving up, this is a very high quality spring pistol. Um, I would even say it's better than the CO2 pistol that we have over there. But if we're talking about CO2 pistols in general, I think a CO2 would win just because it's semi-auto. This is a, a very nice pistol though. Probably the best out of them all. Nice sound. It can shoot pretty hard and pretty far. Moving up, we got this CO2 pistol right here. CO2 goes right here in the mag. Comes in right here. Um, yeah. Enough said, uh, what's different is that it, it's uh, fired semi-auto, um, so you don't have to cock the slide back every time, you can just keep firing, and most CO2 cartilages have 100 rounds in them, and most of them take the 12 round. Little this is uh, the CO2 cartridge that you're going to need to put in one of those guns, they're not too expensive at all, you can get them at Walmart. I think it's entire. One, $1 per cartridge, and you can easily get a pack of like... 6 or 12. Yeah, very nice. Um, I guess that covers guns. We'll move on to ammo use now. Certain guns can use heavier ammo because they have the right amount of strength, and by using heavier ammo, you'll be more, much more accurate with your shots, and your shots won't be knocked around by the wind as much. Um, so we'll start with primary guns. This here, these are point 20 gram BBs. These, this is kind of the default weight for most airsoft guns. Um, when you get to the higher levels, um, you use heavier ammo, but we'll talk about the, that in a different video. But if you're using primary guns, such as this, um, 0.20 grams are highly recommended because you just get more accuracy out of them and the shots will go faster to, to some extent, they'll even go further. I would even, uh consider putting 20s in this gun, just because of the power in it. Yeah, S uh, very same with the uh, CO2 pistol. Um, it does have just some hop-up issues, uh, yeah. so it's just a bad example, but most CO2 pistols are strong enough to use 0.20 gram BBs. On the other hand, if you have some of the weaker and maybe the lower end pistols, um, such as the first one that we looked at, you want to use 0.12. Point twelve is the lightest, air, it's just the lightest you can get for any airsoft BB. I believe. We believe so. Um, and if it goes lighter, that'd be pretty insane. Um, not much said. Uh, that's, those are usually the pit BB ammo you want are for weight, so that the... For um, uh, these type. Yeah, so that the, the gun can... Matt, so that it can just manage to shoot it, because if the ammo is too heavy for the gun, um, which is kind of saying something, because it's one-fifth of a whole gram, um, but uh, sometimes it's just not strong enough, and it ends up just kind of flopping. Yeah. I suppose that covers everything, and I think overall, the most important thing of all is have fun. Yeah. That's the point of... Airsoft, and that's why it's played all around the world, yeah. and that's why it's a better alternative to gun warfare and stuff. Alrighty, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, any final notes, guys? No? Awkward sounds? Okay. We're good.
Oh, no. <laughs> that was. You barked in everywhere.